Today, we look at the funniest moments in gymnastics, including sudden gymnasts failing on the balance beam, vault, bars, floor exercise, uneven bars, and many more. Unfortunately, in gymnastics, funny moments are equally painful moments, but let's get to it. Enjoy. Olympic gymnasts are not always so fortunate. The world's attention is focused on these athletes as they perform exhausting routines that highlight their athleticism and graciousness. However, an uncomfortable or embarrassing mistake can cause the gymnast to be noticed for the wrong reasons. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. While the athletes are known for their strength and determination, there are plenty of humorous moments to be seen. Olympic gymnastics is full of awkward moments, whether it's bad sportsmanship, a funny face, or a trick gone horribly wrong. When you see their incredible routines, it's hard to believe they're even human. These awkward moments serve as a great reminder that even the most accomplished athletes aren't all that different from the rest of us. So, let's get started. Number 1. Olga Korbut Got Off to a Disastrous Start on Uneven Bars Olga Korbut was a 17-year-old Soviet gymnast when her performance at the 1972 Munich Games made her famous. At the start of the competition, the young gymnast wowed the entire world with her routines. She was the first gymnast to perform a backflip on the uneven bars, a daring move that became known as the Corbett Flip. Corbett later recalled the games according to her website and said, It was incredible. I was nobody one day and a celebrity the next. Her disastrous performance on the uneven bars was all the more shocking after capturing everyone's attention at the start of the games. She made three major mistakes throughout the routine, which resulted in her score being deducted. The most obvious of these mistakes was the awkward start. Corbett's feet hung too low and skidded against the mat, preventing her from pulling herself off the ground and beginning the routine as planned. She had to start over, and the humiliating error seemed to throw off the rest of her routine. Corbett, speaking to the BBC about the incident, admitted that she, like the audience, was surprised by her error. I was shocked, so I didn't feel anything. However, in an unusual turn of events, Corbett became even more famous as a result of the error. When the camera captured the young girl in tears, viewers all over the world fell in love with her. Well, I guess you know propaganda works when the Western world is taken aback when a Russian athlete cries in defeat. Let's jump to the next one. Number 2. Savannah Vincent became famous for her awkward faces on the trampoline. Savannah Vincent competed on the trampoline for Team USA at the 2012 Olympic Games, according to the Team USA website. Vincent has been performing trampoline routines since she was a child. I was six years old, and I joined a competitive gym that was involved with power tumbling and trampoline, she recalled in an interview with USA Gymnastics. I'd been a fan of trampolines since the beginning. Using the trampoline as a springboard, these athletes perform incredible acrobatics high in the air. Despite these impressive accomplishments, Vincent is best known for the awkward faces she made during her routine. Vincent didn't have time to think about the faces she was making while twisting in the air, which is understandable. After the competition, however, a few photos of her awkward trampoline face became a bit of a meme. Fortunately, Vincent had far more to be proud of than any embarrassment. She was the youngest trampoline competitor that year, the first American to qualify for the trampoline finals, and she finished sixth in women's trampoline at the age of 19. Number 3. One well-known Sean Johnson photograph was more awkward than it showed Although Olympic gymnasts are extremely powerful athletes, many of them are also teenagers, and they, like all teenagers, have awkward moments. John Johnson was only 16 years old when she competed in the 2008 Beijing Olympics, where she won gold for balance beam and three silver medals for team, all-around, and floor exercise, according to the USA Gymnastics website. Johnson and her teammate Alicia Sacramone became well-known after a photo of them was taken during the games. Johnson appears to be comforting Sacramone, who has just finished a disappointing performance in the photo. Years later, Johnson revealed that the famous photograph was not at all what people had assumed. While she was being helpful to her teammate, she was also discussing the popular series Harry Potter. It's incredibly embarrassing, Johnson said, but we were talking about Harry Potter. It was always amusing because everyone wanted to ask me about this particular incident, about bringing the team together and picking her back up. I never wanted to say anything because it's so humiliating. 
Too bad Shayla's not here with her magical Harry Potter wand, she said, referring to gymnast Shayla Worley, who was obsessed with the series. Number four, Michaela Maroney's not impressed expression. Michaela Maroney was the favorite to win vault at the 2012 Olympic Games in London. Maroney's coach, Martha Coralie, seemed completely confident in her ability to win gold before she competed. She's the best, she told the Associated Press just before the competition started. Maroney, on the other hand, had a disappointing performance in the women's vault final. While her first vault was as close to perfect as anyone could have hoped for, her second left her disappointed. Instead of sticking the landing, Maroney fell to a sitting position, lowering her average score and dropping her to second place in the competition. The unexpected fall was awkward enough, but Maroney was also caught on camera making an unimpressed face during the medal ceremony. Maroney later told Inside Gymnastics magazine that the face had no significance. It's only two seconds if you watch the video, and I remember thinking to myself, did I just make a face? It's because it's natural. It's something I do all the time, she stated. But that didn't stop the internet from turning the incident into a meme dubbed the not impressed face. It became so famous that Maroney later posed with Barack Obama, both of them making the iconic face. Number five, Michaela Maroney and her teammates were hoping for a perfect score. Michaela Maroney fell during her individual vault, but it was a completely different story during the team vault at London 2012. Maroney took off on a confident run, flew through the air and landed perfectly. The crowd erupted in applause after what appeared to be a flawless vault. Maroney rushed to embrace her coaches and teammates who were all ecstatic about her performance. In the video, one of her teammates clearly states that Maroney will receive a 16.5, the highest score possible. However, there was a letdown after the team and onlookers had confidently predicted she'd get a 16.5. The judges took a deduction. Maroney scored 267 points, falling just short of the perfect score everyone expected. It was a little awkward seeing the points after celebrating the 16.5 they expected her to get. Number six, Victoria Komova's angry reaction to finishing second. It's never easy to become emotional in front of a crowd. Unfortunately for Victoria Komovo, the world witnessed her humiliating televised reaction when she realized she had finished second to Team USA's Gabby Douglas. Komovo, a Russian gymnast, and Douglas were two of the top competitors at the 2012 London Olympics. Komovo performed an impressive floor routine, hoping to outperform Douglas, but when her scores were announced, putting her just behind Douglas, the 17-year-old gymnast couldn't hide her disappointment. Komovo was seen crying angrily as her teammate and coach tried to console her. According to Reuters, the heartbroken gymnast couldn't bear wearing the silver medal. She reportedly removed it quickly after dismounting the podium because it was too heavy. Hmm, right, too heavy. When asked about her emotions, Komovo made no secret of her dissatisfaction. I'm still disappointed because I could have won gold, but didn't, Komovo said. Number seven, after a fall, Gabby Douglas had to cling to the balance beam. Gabby Douglas, one of the few Olympic athletes who is unrecognizable without makeup, won gold at the 2012 London Olympics. Not only did she help Team USA win first place, but she also helped Team Canada win second place. She was also the first woman of color, regardless of nationality, to win the individual all-around title. Douglas told the Washington Post after her big win, you just have to be fearless and go out there and dominate. She continues adding, you have to go out there and be a beast, because if you don't, you won't be at the top. So it's no surprise that everyone thinks of Douglas as the champion she is, but that doesn't mean she hasn't made a few awkward gaffes throughout her illustrious career. One of these errors occurred on the balance beam during the same 2012 games. Douglas's balance was shaky at the start of her balance beam routine, and she checked her balance several times. She slipped on a landing near the middle of the routine, causing her to fall from the beam. She hung awkwardly with one leg and her hands on the balance beam before getting up and resuming the routine. And that's it for today's video. We all have awkward moments from time to time, but thankfully most of us don't have to worry about anyone broadcasting them internationally, right? Remember these awkward moments serve as a great reminder that even the most impressive athletes aren't all that different from the rest of us. And with that, it wraps up the video. What was your favorite moment? Thanks for watching.